Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter, you guys. Um, this is nothing special, like in terms of a, you know, how exactly to do this thing that I searched for the title on YouTube to try and get you to click about it and stuff. This is just a, I don't know, watch me hang a few sheets on the ceiling video. So um, I'll try and pass along little tidbits I know as I do this, and um, let's see if I can get this done. All right, so first off is some basic prep work. Um, you want to mark out where your joists are. So, well, that's obvious. We've got another one right here. These are 19 on center. Uh, kind of an odd measurement. It's like 19.2-ish, something like that. Anyways, the first thing is you think, okay, we're going to hang the sheet this way, right? Not necessarily. So what do we got here? All right, we actually have 52 inches. So that's over four feet. So what I'm actually gonna do is cut these into like 52 inch chunks, run them across this way. There'll be a couple of joints, but they'll be flat joints, so it'll be nice and easy. All right, so there's these ones, right there, right there, and this might get in the way a little bit, might get pinched underneath that joist, so let's, um, let's do a little something more. Maybe we can like really snag it in here to make it hard for the electrician to ever find it again. Um, you know, always thinking about the next guy. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. Let's get us a measurement here. All righty, we have 53. Now I can leave a little slack on this side. I can leave easily a quarter inch gap on this side. In fact, up to a, almost a half inch gap. Uh, what do we have right here? 53 tight. And right here we have, yeah, it's more like 52 and three quarters. 52 and three quarters is tight. I'm gonna go with 52 and five eighths. Right, we've got our boards over here. No need to mark with the pencil. Just mark with the tape measure. What was it? 52 and 5 eighths, I think. No, yeah, 52 and 5 eighths. Let's go with that. Right there. Mark it with your knife. Oh, I don't do that. Okay, this is where the auto feed really shines. What do we got in here? We've got about five more screws. It's enough to get it up there. Okay. Half inch is so light and easy. I love it. I wish it was always this light. But sometimes it's not. I wanna get that under there. Nope, not gonna go under, is it? How are we looking there? Good, good. But I want that to slide under, like the old sheet did. Oh, there we go. That's good. Now I'm happy. Okay. There we go. Yeah, right, five. Okay, I just wanna get this done and go home. Not that anyone's making me get this done before I home, before I home. Five screws is a friendly amount. But, of course, I wasn't paying attention one of those didn't sink right. There we go. Just a little cuff. Okay. Remember what I've said, get your shoulder under this thing properly. Almost done. I mean, need one here. There we go. That's good enough. 
All right, next piece. What is it? What is it? We were closer to 50, 52 and a half would be okay on that. 52 and 5 eighths, something like that. How about down here? 53 and a quarter, what's your problem? Somebody wandered, how about here? 53, uh, 52 and 7 eighths, so it like gets way bigger right there. But we gotta pick our smallest measurement or it don't gonna fit. Let's push it and go 52 and 3 quarters. See if I regret pushing it. These are nine foot sheets, so I can get it out of this one. 52 and three quarter. Hold it with my foot. Slide up. Don't splash my hand. There's a lot of crumblies down here, and I've lost my drywall wrap. Okay. All right. How are we doing there? How we do for screws? We got enough. Okay. Is it focused? There we go. <laughs> Just snagged my drill on the bench on the way up. Oh man, train wreck. Coming at this all wrong. It's hard to uh, make a video and do a good job at the same time. If you've ever tried, you would know. Okay, what? We're a bit short there. Remember I said I was pushing it. A bit longer, but we're just gonna go with it. I can cut it in place, even though that's a bummer. Oh. Okay, let's cut that in place. Um, it looks like it's gonna want a routery business. Okay. Finally broke the hilty bit. You focused. Yeah, good. All right. Oh, yeah, it just needs a little bit here. Oh, a little more. Well, that was a truly embarrassing display that the taper can fix. I know the taper, guys. I know them. That never gets old. Yeah, there are not enough screws per round in these. That much I will say. I'll agree with that. Somebody said it in one of my videos. I 
know if there's anything there. Or if, nope, there's air. Don't pass in there, because it's just air. I think I got hung up on this bit by trying to go in nice and close. Okay, we just got one last little piece here. Huge gap there. Oh, one other thing that you should always do is refasten the old board. A lot of people don't do that because they weren't the ones that cut it out and they think, well, I didn't cut it out and it's not my problem. So as a contractor, even when I had the borders coming, I would always screw that part off, you know, because I didn't expect them to do it. They're just there to install the new board, even though technically, you know, a proper job, they should do that. What do we got here? Looks tapered. Four and a half, four and three quarters. I'm gonna forget both those measurements, so let's write it down. Four and a half, four and three quarters. Do you guys love it when you just go and look, you know, in, in the scrap pile and you find the perfect piece? This one is literally four and a half to four and three quarters. And I didn't have to do anything but not tidy up to find it. Oh, oh wait. Durr, I need a bevel, not a butt joint. Okay. Got the piece. But, uh, I cut it wrong, so. Paper's gonna have to pre-fill this one on this side. Uh, that's life. Not enough screws. Okay, that's it. This little bit of ceiling is done. Um, it's got walls left to do, but I'm tired and um, I'm feeling as creaky as this bench is. Just want to say thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I uh, really appreciate the support. I hope you guys are getting something out of these videos, whether it be, you know, like entertainment, inspiration, education, you know, all those super cheesy cliche things. I hope you're getting it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Gotta go home. Super tired. Till the next one, you guys.